we must insist on good governance. That is the only way we can ensure that Nigeria works for all of us. Cakes and Patisserie and the convener of Big Conversations with Hawaii Equal Waste. I come from a family of 27 uh, children. I am the ninth amongst them, the family of um, Achipa Obakar. Yes, I, I consider that um, a, a myth because um, I'm not one to lazy around or waste my life. Uh, and as, as, as I've said, I've worked in several um, industries, I've garnered experience, uh, I've met people, created networks of individuals in different sectors of the economy. Um, eventually, I left all that I was doing, I got married uh, in uh, 2010. And um, as a young wife, I, I started uh, baking from home. Uh, my cakes became very popular and then the thought of opening a proper patisserie uh, business came to my mind. Uh, amongst all of the names that I, I sought to name my company, I came up with Dark Delight because my chocolate cake then was um, the best of my offerings and um, it just simply uh, rhymed with what I was doing. I eventually went on a course in uh, London, in the UK, uh, on how to bake and decorate cakes, and um, subsequently decided to expand my business uh, and went to Italy, Bologna in, uh, in particular. I went to the Gelato University. Absolutely, I learned it in class um, with my with my fellow students from all over the world. It was an enlightening experience, and I learned that gelato can be a good, healthy option, even though ice cream has somewhat watered, uh, you know, the waters for us. But um, it was um, an enlightening thing, and I subsequently opened a. Gelateria as well as Welcome to that, that she's a, a very kind somebody. Whenever I have problems, I go to her and then she helps. She's a very kind woman. She advised me like that. Her brother. So it's a very she's a very nice woman. So the conversation with Hawa at Ways came up as a result of me feeling uh, disgruntled with the state of affairs in our country. And I realized that instead of uh, staying at home and lamenting about these issues, we can start conversations with uh, like-minded Nigerians to educate Nigerians on peaceful participation in politics and active participation as well because a lot of Nigerians have been left very disgruntled and disheartened with where we are as a democracy and they uh, sometimes refuse to participate in the election processes which does not really bode well for the country therefore I, I realized that there was a need to have conversations with people to enlighten others as well who are not very uh, conversant with how they can participate in politics and election uh, processes. Well, the first challenge I faced um, while when I was going to start the conversations with Hawati was, was the fact that I have a very privileged uh, background and I realized that some people will take that as a backdrop for my efforts. So I quickly realized that I needed to make the statement that I am talking for and on behalf of Nigerians, not necessarily my family. I would 
definitely advise the youth to be relentless in pursuing what they believe in. There is always the space for every voice and every voice counts. And I believe that the youth of Nigeria should stand up and actually participate in elections, campaigns, and try to instill values that we have somewhat lost. So I am counting a lot on the youth in Nigeria to actually uplift us from where we are.